Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Canada PR. We hope you are doing great. So there is a piece of good news for Canadians with temporary visas and those seeking temporary visas such as work permits or student visas. Well, due to the new five pillar strategy of which the IRCC unveiled on September 20th, 2022, making the switch over from temporary residence to permanent resident simpler. This initiative aims to increase pathways to Canadian permanent residence for foreign employees and overseas students. So today in this uh, video we will discuss the recent updates and five pillar strategy and how it can help you whether you are already a resident of Canada or planning to immigrate there on a work permit or a student visa. So to get all the information pay attention and watch the video through to the end please hit the like subscribe and don't forget to push the notification bell for coming episodes. So without any further delay let's jump into the video now as we all are aware there has been an increase in the requirement for skilled workers in Canada particularly since covid-19 in response to this demand the immigration and refugees commission has been directed to create and make public a plan to expand economic immigration programs to enable workers of all skill levels to fill Canada's labor needs Additionally, it aims to increase uh, the number of pathways for temporary foreign employees, especially overseas students with substantial Canadian work experience, to become permanent residents, particularly in fields where there was a persistent labor shortage. While Immigration Minister Sian Fraser announced a plan to increase the number of pathways for overseas students and temporary foreign workers to get permanent residency on September 28th of this year. Let us begin with pillar 1 which consists of higher immigration objectives set in the immigration levels plan for the year 2022 to 2024 since all the program draws for the expedited entry started on July 6th of this year IRCC has been expanding the number of invites given in each draw to offer Canada a bigger permanent uh, skilled workforce supply the original uh, number of invites sent was 1500 in the first draw but they have steadily increased with each subsequent draw and have already more than doubled to 3000 every draw at this point in the year canada is on course to receive a high number of immigrants isn't it a piece of great news well the revised 2023 to 2025 immigration levels plan is anticipated to be unveiled by immigration minister cn fraser before november 1st of this year Now the second pillar is on overhauling uh, the express entry program uh, as a whole. The current express entry system will be reformed by IRCC to provide for more flexibility in selecting applicants in response to Canada's labor market demands. This implies that uh, compared to other applicants you have a better chance of receiving an ITA or an invitation to apply if the industry in which you operate has a larger demand at any particular moment in Canada. The expedited entries CRS in particular the points given for Canadian work experience will be examined. So candidates with temporary residence visas such as international students studying in Canada or those with work permits have a minor advantage due to their Canadian education, language skills and the job offer. Now adopting the most recent national occupational classification 2021 which increases eligibility uh, for certain in demand occupation with many permanent economic immigration paths is one of the changes that pillar 3 aims to make to permanent economic immigration programs so canada is functioning and those in high demand professions will profit from this now according to ircc physicians uh, who collaborate with uh, public health authorities on a fee for service basis will be excluded from the present rules allowing them access to canada's economic pr initiatives however to earn their license in canada doctors will still need to complete the necessary tests and qualifications pilot programs are being improved to assist a persons working in the agri food industry and provide in home care with transitions to permanent residence Now the goal of pillar 4 is to assess localities in luring and maintaining immigrants notably those from uh, francophone countries. The goal of the Canadian government is to achieve the 4.4% French speaking immigration target. A new municipal nominee program is also been created by the end of 2023 to assist towns in luring and keeping immigrants to fill their expanding local labor demands. The administration is also collaborating with provinces, territories and Canadian businesses to develop pathways to PR such as provincial nominee program which provides provinces and territories the freedom to modify 
and evolve immigration programs to fit their present particular labor market needs. Finally, Pillar 5 will allow the government to handle more immigration and TRB applications at once. Uh, through technical advancement, they are aiming to modernize the immigration system by enhancing user interfaces and application procedures. To process the massive backlog of applications that were received during and after COVID-19, more employees are also continuously being employed. These programs aim to make newcomers feel welcome and become permanent residents of Canada as soon as feasible. While the present provincial and territorial immigration mechanism or streams will be supplemented by these five pillars enabling them to choose applicants on their own to fulfill their unique regional requirement across all skill levels. So the current modifications will help TRB holders. This is all in this video. So what are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully the video is useful to you. See you later in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.